Hey barbecue family. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode on our channel. I'm Maddie and this is Kiki and we are Canada's favorite female grill masters. Today, we're talking all about grilled chicken breasts, a seemingly simple, easy protein to throw down on the grill, but it's actually one of the trickiest proteins to master, believe it or not. Many people in our barbecue classes come to us with questions regarding chicken breasts, so we thought, all right, it's about time we make a video on grilling chicken breasts. We're on a mission to stop people from overcooking, undercooking, overcharring, and under seasoning the mighty chicken breast. Once you learn these simple steps to master chicken breast, we promise you will never think of chicken breast as dull and boring ever again. Okay, whoa, how many times did we just say chicken breast in this intro? <laughs> how many times do you think we're gonna say chicken breast by the end of this video? Okay, I'm gonna guess. Probably, I'm gonna say 12. Okay, I'm going with 19. Okay, you're going up. You're I going think we're up. gonna say it more than that. <laughs> Stay tuned and let's see who guesses right. Are you ready to do this, honey? I'm ready, yeah. yeah. Step one, turn on your grill to max heat and preheat for 10 to 12 minutes. Many people are afraid of undercooking chicken breast, so they think low heat will allow the meat to be on the grill longer and become fully cooked. But that is actually wrong, wrong, wrong. Chicken breasts that are hanging out on the grill at a low temperature just result in dry, overcooked chicken, and nobody wants that. As we always say, you need to properly preheat your grill for at least 10 to 12 minutes. This ensures prominent grill marks and prevents food from sticking to the grill. Give the grill a good brushing before shutting the lid and letting the grates get nice and hot. Now let's head on over to Matt at the counter who's gonna show you the pro way to prepare your chicken breasts. Step number two, prepping your chicken breasts for the grill. Okay, so we're gonna let you guys in on the best way to grill chicken breasts. And it actually involves slicing the chicken breasts into two slices. Chicken breasts are shaped thick and bulbous on one end and pointy and thin on the other end. So this shape makes overcooking likely to happen on the pointy little thin end. So the reason why we slice the breast in two is because it reduces cook time, it creates more surface area for rub, which equals more flavor. And we all know chicken breasts need all the flavor they can get since they're very mild in taste and it ensures the meat cooks evenly and it's juicy throughout and not just in the big thick area of the chicken breast. So get your chicken breast and slice it in half lengthwise, not against the grain. Glug on some olive oil and add a healthy dose of your favorite barbecue rub. So you guys will see that I'm using my hands to do this. We always say hands are the most important tool in the kitchen. You just gotta make sure they're clean before you start and they're clean again before you hit the grill. Ooh, that gets hot. <laughs> Since our grill has been preheating this entire time, it's time to get our chicken breast onto the grill. Step three, placing your chicken breast onto the grill. Place the chicken breast over direct heat perpendicular to the grill grates. That's how you're gonna get those great grill marks that we all know and love. If you place the chicken breast in line with the grill grates, you get those long wonky grill marks that are just not as visually appealing. So it's mainly for visual purposes. Once the chicken breasts have been placed on the grill, get the lid down and stay nearby since they don't take long at all. Lift the lid after about five minutes and evaluate the look of the chicken breast. The way to know when to flip the chicken breast is when the meat starts to look opaque and white along the sides. Get your tongs and give the meat a little tug to see if it's ready to be flipped. The meat will tell you when it's ready to be flipped. If it comes away from the grates easily, it means you're about to set your eyes on the most luscious grill marks ever. If it's sticking, just let it lie for a few more minutes. See, just look at those luscious grill marks. Once the chicken breast has been flipped, put the lid back down and get your meat thermometer so that you can temp the meat the next time you open the lid. You can't rely on the fat to make the meat juicy, so it's imperative that you cook the chicken to exactly 165 degrees Fahrenheit. These ones are ready to come off the grill and get devoured.
We know that these three simple steps will help you up your grill game. Okay, wait, how many times do we end up saying chicken breast? Oh, it says 19. Yes, I was right. Chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast. Now you're not right. <laughs> that is so rude. Thanks for watching, Barbecue Family, and don't forget to subscribe. And we hope to see you this Friday on our weekly barbecue live stream. The chat is always bustling, and we'd love to welcome you to the party. See you then.